Dear students, we are discussing the scope of financial management and we have talked about the financing activity. And in this module, we'll continue with our discussion on financing activity. As we discussed that, the external sources of financing are equity and debt the ownership rights and the lending rights. The people who give us their money as owners, we give them shares. The people who give us money in the form of loan or they lend us money, either they become our lenders or they become bond holders. I'll discuss this term bonds later on. Equity is basically generated through the issuance of what we call common share. Common shares is a term which is used for the ownership rights which are given to those people who actually become the risk taker in an organization. An owner is the person who gets the profit, an owner is the person who has to face the loss. So common shareholders are actually the people who are the ones who will take all that risk. The term share simply means a piece of capital, a share of capital. That is, if I divide the total amount of capital in a business, suppose it is a million rupees, then in how many pieces I am dividing this capital? Let's say if 1 million rupees capital is divided into 100,000 pieces, then one piece will have a value of 10 rupees. This is one share. And with some attributes, it is called common share. Common share is the share which gives a person the right of ownership of that business. In addition to this, common shareholders have some other rights, which we'll discuss in the later parts of our discussion, but very quickly, if I just touch upon them, it is that if further shares are to be issued by the company, then the common shareholders have the first right on them. Similarly, if the decisions are to be made at the level where all shareholders have to contribute, then they also give their opinion about various decisions that are to be made. But common shareholders are in line just behind another type of shares which are called preferred shares. Common shareholders are the fund providers, so as the preferred shareholders. Preferred shareholders are not the owners of the, an organization in that true sense as the common shareholders are. And preference shareholders are got certain, have got certain preferences and that is why these are called preference or preferred shareholder. What are these preferences? Number one, preference shareholders are given profit, that is dividend, before the common shareholders. That is, if a company earns some profit and wants to give dividend, then the preference shareholders are first in line to get that dividend. And the common shareholders would get dividend afterwards. And suppose if no profit is left afterwards, then certainly common shareholders will not get anything. So this is one preference that preferred shareholders get. And the second preference they get is what is called during the process of liquidation. When a business goes into liquidation, when a business is to be shut down, a company is to be liquidated, then preferred shareholders have the first right on the funds of the company. So they are better off, they are safer. But having said this, preferred shareholders get dividend or profit at a given rate which is generally less than what the common shareholders get. So the preferred shareholders get a fixed rate of dividend or profit, so that ensures that return to some extent. And so uh, common shareholders may or may not get that return. But if a company is earning more, if the company has a lot of profit, then preferred shareholders will have that fixed rate of return, whereas the common shareholders will have a lot more than that. 
both get profit in the form of dividend. We call it uh, the distribution of profit in the form of dividend. Dividends are annual dividends. Sometimes once the profit is calculated and the, and the company is in a position to know that how much uh, amount is to be paid to the shareholders, then they give dividend. Uh, we have a detailed discussion, uh, a full-fledged topic uh, on dividend policy in our course of financial management. We'll, we'll discuss it in detail later on. But here, what I want to mention is that dividend is the distribution of profit. It is annual and at times it is also interim dividend. Interim means somewhere in between the year. Company ko pata laga ke humne to bahut sara profit hum kama rahe hain. And by the end of the year, we'll comfortably have a lot of profit. So, company apna, apna financial year conclude karne se pehle hi kuch dividend announce kar deti hai in anticipation that a lot of profit will be ultimately earned. So, we call that interim profit. And as I said, preferred shareholders ka profit rate fix hoga dividend ka jabke common shareholders ka aisa nahi hai. Preferred shares ki bahut si kisme bhi hai. Inko bhi hum aage tafseel se padhenge. And profit which is earned by the company is last thing that is the internal source of financing and we'll highlight it and discuss it later.